Hello everyone, my name is Dr. David, but you can call me Margarita. Yes, like the drink. I get that all the time. I am new to the YouTube world, and I always said that when I did open a YouTube channel, that I wanted to give a proper introduction so you can get to know a little bit about myself. And let me tell you that I've been super, super nervous about starting this channel. Um, I'm usually a very timid person, and um, every time that my students ask me, when are you gonna film something? We love how you teach. And I always told them, I, I don't know, I'm just not, uh, you know, I, I don't know what happens when I am in front of a camera or trying to do a video or I get super nervous. This is probably like the 20th take of this video in the last, I don't know, 10 minutes. I decided because I recently attained my doctorate degree this past December that what not combine my two uh, professions into one and that's why I've created this YouTube channel called Dr. Registered Nurse. This channel is about teaching you um, how to basically graduate from nursing school pass your boards and become a registered nurse. But in the process, in this journey, it is so, so important for you to understand um, the content. That could be cardiovascular, um, neurological, GI, GU. Uh, all of these topics are crucial to understand, but it's not only knowing what they are, but also the pathophysiology behind each of those. There are so many questions on your boards and your NCLEX that are focused on pathophysiology, and if you don't understand that, there is no way that you're going to be able to retain any other information. I always, I always tell my students, if you do not understand the pathophysiology of certain disease processes, of pharmacology, you are only memorizing content for tests. I always practice something with them where um, they ask me a question. I recently did this regarding beta blockers, one of the uh, classifications of blood, blood pressure medications. And the first thing that students want to do is get a pencil, start writing while the professor um, is speaking. However, I always tell them, if you give me 50% of your attention because the other 50% is literally focused on writing, then you're not really giving me 100%. And the way that you start retaining information is by giving that 100%. So I have them all put their pencils down and I have them listen. So um, understanding the pathophysiology of everything, of farm, how it works in your, of how a medication works in your system, of disease processes, it's crucial, it's vital to understanding the subject at hand. Because the NCLEX is not gonna um, have you pass on factual questions, for example, a potassium level, a DIG level. No, it's going to gather certain amount of information and you're going to get a question where you're, you're perplexed as to, okay, which one is it? And when you say that to yourself, it means that it is a question that you have to really critically think. So I help my students do this, and that's something that I'm going to be providing in this um, channel. We talk about pharmacology. I love farm. Test taking strategies. I, I develop the curriculum that focuses on how to understand the question, geared towards student nurses, um, nurses that are already on the field and maybe are taking certification exams. Um, so it's a very important course. All the students that take it love it. I incorporate a lot of the patho into those test taking strategies uh, because that's how you're going to see your questions. For example, those select all the applies. I also in this channel going to be doing career tips. I know that a lot of you want to know how do I move on from let's say an associates to a bachelor's, to a master's, to a doctorate program. That journey, each journey is important in order for you to get to the to the um, to the goal, I'm going to be interviewing different nursing specialties. For example, family nurse practitioners, mental health uh, nurse practitioners, OR nurses. Uh, I'm going to try to reach out to as many different specialties as possible because one of the things that my students always tell me is, I want to do this and I want to do that, but I don't know until I am in there. So what better way to see if it's something that you're going to like? than actually interviewing these people, following them, shadowing them. So that's also going to be included in this channel. I look forward to a lot of the questions that you have. Send me suggestions. I want to bring new content. I know there's a lot of content out there. 
I have a very different teaching strategy. Um, I'm, and you'll see from the content that I upload, uh, you're going to be happy. But just to give you a little brief history about myself, I was not always a nurse. Um, I actually came from a business background in economics and finance. Um, I did graduate with a bachelor's in business management administration and a minor in economics. I did work for a major financial company for about five years. However, around three years into it, I was not fulfilled. There was something missing. And I started talking to um, my husband and I said, I need to explore other things. And that's when the um, fast track programs for a BSN, a bachelor's of science in nursing started coming out. And I said, you know what? I think this is, this is it. This is what I need to do because it's geared towards um, individuals that have a degree in something else that, um, and have an interest in nursing. So uh, I applied to several universities in the area and I got accepted into the number one nursing program in the United States. And um, after taking all those prerequisites, you know, anatomy and physiology, biochemistry, chemistry, all those other things that I'm sure everyone that's watching this video some, in some time took um, or is currently taking, I was able to start the program. And let me tell you something, those were the hardest 11 months of my life. So basically, you got a bachelor's degree, which usually takes four years in 11 months. Everything was paused for us. Um, I had to stop working. And, you know, so I had this was a big decision. This was a life changing moment. But I thought that it was good for me to do it because I really needed I was looking for something that I would say when I wake up in the morning, I want to go to work. I, I, I'm not going to tell you, oh, I did it to go help people. That's like the cliche. Everybody says that. Yes, we are as nurses there to help individuals. However, it's more than that. It's how we can make their lifestyle holistic. How can we help them um, see their health differently in order for them to, um, to change their eating habits, change their lifestyle, understand what diseases they are prone to have and how we can avoid it. So it's more than just helping people to me. I wanted something that was fulfilling. And um, I finished the program. I took, at that time, in the school, they were given the HESI. If you didn't do that, um, unfortunately, you would have to repeat the entire program, but you had to wait a year. So I was not doing that. Um, and after I finished the program and I passed that HESI, I started preparing for my boards. Passed it on the first try. I was glad that I was done. Since 2007, I have been an, a registered nurse and I've worked in different specialty, um, med surge, telemetry, progressive care unit, which is like step down unit. I've dabbled in ICU a little bit, not too much. Also did school nursing for about three years. And then, you know what, I said, I need, I need to do something else. I never left the bedside, never left the bedside. Like you have to stay at the bedside. That's where you keep learning new evidence-based practices. After school nursing, I decided to get into transplants. So at that point I became a transplant coordinator. Again, I never left the bedside. I've always stayed with my med search, telemetry, step down experience. Um, during some time, I decided, you know what, I need to continue my studies. I have always been very education focused. So uh, I enrolled in a, in a graduate program to get my master's. I started out in one, I didn't like their mission. Then I went to another one, then guess what? The one that I was first in bought the school that I transferred to, and I said, am I ever gonna get away from these people? So then that's when I started looking to, to a school that, for a school that um, matched my mission and matched what my goals were, and I found it. And um, in May of 2016, I graduated with my master's in nursing education and leadership. In May 2016, I started teaching clinicals as a clinical professor, clinical adjunct. I also developed a very successful pharmacology and test taking strategies curriculum, which I have taught to over 350 students outside of the school. And that's something that I also bring to the clinical setting and that I will be bringing to the YouTube channel. Education has been such a big part of my life that 
I said, I have to go further. And let me tell you something. My husband had wanted nothing to do with it. He said, you're done. You've been in school. You've been doing this. You've been in school forever. That's what it seems. And I said, I need to do this. I need to do this for myself. And that's when I started looking um, in enrolling into a doctorate program. And I enrolled. And this was back in August of 2017. Um, in July of 2017, um, my grandfather, who I was extremely close to, I considered him my dad, um, was very sick. I flew to the Dominican Republic. I saw him. He looked okay. He was in the hospital. Um, we had a big conversation. I told him about my goals. He was he was always so supportive of everything I did. And I told him that I was going to be starting the doctoral program. He was so, so happy. He kept telling everybody about it. And I knew he was going to support me, but he was super happy. Well, the next day, we said goodnight to each other. My mom said goodnight to him. We went um, back to the house with the intention of going back in the morning because it was really late. And then as soon as we got home, we were called that he um, had cardiac arrest. So... Just to tell you that I, I mean, just imagine, it was like part of my heart was just taken out of my chest. And then I said, I don't want to do this anymore. And after about a week or so, I just kept thinking about how happy my um, grandfather was when I mentioned to him that I was going to uh, join a doctoral program. I kept listening to him and visualizing him saying, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. And I had to do it. And um, I did it. I presented my dissertation to the committee this past December. Now I'm getting ready to graduate in this, at the end of January. That's going to be exciting. I have my, um, my gown and everything ready for that. That education piece that has fulfilled my life for so long now I'm, I have a new channel to um, give you everything that I've learned all these years. Yes. Am I going to have content? Yes. Am I going to have test taking strategies? Yes. Am I going to have career tips? Yes. Am I going to interview all those people that I told you I was going to interview in order for you to get a hands-on view, a visual of what they do? Yes. But we have to have fun. So I'm going to have some fun videos in the site as well. Um, so look forward for those. Uh, but I'm telling you, if you have any suggestions, today I got a bunch of them from my students and, and some of my coworkers are like, yeah, you're going to do one great. Can you do this? Can you do that? Send them my way. You can put it down in the comments. Please subscribe, share this, like this, you know, all that lingo that people say on YouTube, you know, subscribe, like, share please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, again, this is very overwhelming and intimidating, um, but I'm going to try my best to bring you as much content as possible. Um, but know that I'm here to help you and just put your suggestions below and I'm going to read every comment and I'm going to answer every comment as much as I can. Okay. So if you have any questions again, just put them down below. Make sure to su subscribe to this channel, to like it and share it with all your friends, with all your, the other students, the nursing students, staff, teachers, whoever you want. And I look forward to working with all of you. And thank you so much for your time. Bye.